Welcome back to The Origin of Words. Today, we're going on a journey to unearth the origins of a word that takes us back to a time when giants roamed the Earth. That's right, we're talking about the word dinosaur. So let's jump into the time machine and start our prehistoric adventure. Let's set the stage for our etymological journey. Dinosaurs existed on Earth for a vast period of time, spanning multiple geological eras. The primary time during which dinosaurs lived is the Mesozoic Era, which is often referred to as the Age of Dinosaurs. The Mesozoic Era is divided into three major periods, namely the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. Each period represents a distinct interval of time within the Mesozoic Era that can be characterized by specific geological and biological events. It is believed that dinosaurs lived during all three major periods within the Mesozoic era until a sudden mass extinction event, known as the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, occurred 66 million years ago. The event caused the mass extinction of three-quarters of the plant and animal species on Earth. In 1980, a team of scientists led by Luis Alvarez and his son Walter concluded that the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event was caused by the impact of a massive asteroid upwards of 10 to 15 kilometers wide. The asteroid struck the Earth near the modern-day Yucatan Peninsula in the Gulf of Mexico, leaving a 180-kilometer-wide crater. The first recognized dinosaur fossil was found in 1824 in England. The discovery was made by Mary Ann Mantell, the wife of geologist Gideon Mantell, in the countryside of Sussex. The fossil consisted of a set of teeth and bones, and her husband Gideon Mantell identified them as belonging to a giant reptile, which he named Iguanodon, as the term dinosaur did not exist until 1842. Iguanodon was derived from the Greek roots iguano, meaning iguana, a type of lizard, and don, from the Greek word for tooth. The term dinosaur was first used in a research paper written by British scientist Sir Richard Owen in 1842. Owen coined the term dinosauria in his paper titled A Report on British Fossil Reptiles, to describe a new group of extinct reptiles he had identified using fossils from across England. To understand the words dinosaur or dinosauria, we need to break it down. The names dinosaur and dinosauria are derived from the Greek words dinos, meaning terrible, horrible, or fearful, and sauros, meaning lizard or the order of reptiles. Thus, dinosaur translates to terrible lizard or horrible, fearful reptile. Owen chose the name dinosaur to reflect the extraordinary scale of these prehistoric creatures, which were unlike any known reptiles at the time, the scientific community was abuzz with discoveries and debates. The mid-1800s saw a surge in fossil discoveries, and scientists were uncovering the remains of these colossal beings, leading to the birth of paleontology. By the late 19th century, fossil hunters from around the world were racing to uncover and name new dinosaur species, and it was a time of fierce competition. Referred to as the Great Dinosaur Rush, or the Bone Wars, the discoveries during this period not only grew our understanding of Earth's ancient inhabitants, but also fueled public interest in dinosaurs. The rapid pace at which dinosaur fossils were being discovered around the world in the 19th and 20th centuries required the development of a consistent classification system. The resulting classification system contributed to common prefixes and particularly suffixes across dinosaur names. For example, the Greek suffix saurus was commonly used to describe dinosaurs that possessed lizard or reptile-like characteristics. One such dinosaur is the brontosaurus. Coined by the American paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh in 1879, the brontosaurus consisted of two Greek roots, namely bronte, meaning thunder, and saurus, meaning lizard or reptile. Together, they describe a thunder lizard that reflects the massive size of the creature and evokes sound that it would have made as it moved. The name Stegosaurus was used to describe a creature with distinctive plates extending along its spine. The name was also coined by Othniel Charles Marsh, using the Greek words stego, meaning roof or covering, and saurus. Quite literally, the name Stegosaurus can be translated to mean roofed lizard or covered lizard. Similar etymological patterns exist across most dinosaur names as suffixes were adopted from the Greek language to describe distinguishing features and characteristics. For example, predatory dinosaurs often have the suffix raptor, which means plunderer or robber. Dinosaurs with prominent facial horns often include the suffix ceratops, which is derived from the Greek roots for horn and face. 
and dinosaurs with prominent teeth often include the suffix don in their names. Amongst the most interesting dinosaur names are the Tyrannosaurus rex and Pterodactyl. Tyrannosaurus rex was coined by American paleontologist Henry Fairfield Osborne in 1905 following the discovery of partial fossils in Colorado and Wyoming. The name Tyrannosaurus rex has its roots in the Greek and Latin languages. Tyrannosaurus rex consists of three roots, namely, tyranno, which is derived from the Greek word tyrannos, meaning tyrant. This root reflects the dinosaur's position as a dominant and apex predator in its ecosystem. The name Tyrannosaurus rex also includes the roots saurus, meaning lizard or reptile, as we discussed previously, and the Latin word rex, meaning king. Osborne's addition of the word rex emphasizes the tyrant's kingly or ruling status among dinosaurs. Quite literally, Tyrannosaurus rex can be translated to mean tyrant lizard king or king of the tyrant lizards. The etymology of the name pterodactyl is equally as interesting. The root tero comes from the Greek word pteron, meaning wing, and the root dactyl is derived from the Greek word dactylos, which means finger. Putting them together, pterodactyl can be translated to mean winged finger. Pterodactyls were characterized by their elongated fourth finger, which supported a membrane of skin forming the wing. And there you have it the etymological and historical origins of the word dinosaur and notable dinosaur names. From its Greek roots to the excitement of the great dinosaur rush, this term has become an integral part of our scientific and cultural lexicon. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting etymological journeys. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.